Available for buses, cars and three-wheelers, compressed natural gas kits or CNG kits aren't new to the market. Kits for two-wheelers were available in the past but were locally made and never popular. But now Lovato, a leading CNG kit maker, has launched kits specifically for automatic scooters in India. And we managed to get our hands on one of these CNG scooters for you to clear all your doubts. Now the interesting thing about these CNG kits is the fact that they are compatible with 18 scooters on the market today. The TVS Jupiter, Hero Maestro, Mahindra Gusto and Honda Activa all can have CNG powered alternatives. So a petrol powered Activa like this one can be converted into something like this one. Two cylinders with a combined capacity of 1.4 kilos are mounted behind the apron covered with a black plastic panel. The panel also has a small access hatch that can be opened to view the fuel gauge, but the quality and finish of this hatch could have been much better. The pipes that feed the CNG run from cylinders to the engine under the floorboard and connect to the reducer mounted in the undersea storage. This will of course take away substantial storage space under the seat which means you cannot fit a helmet in there anymore. The kit takes about 4 hours to be completely installed, but remember, these kits will void your existing warranty. We were initially apprehensive about the addition of cylinders compromising on legroom, but thankfully that isn't the case here. The toggle switch on the apron lets you choose between petrol and CNG and just like the fuel gauge hatch, this switch is very basic and could have been of better quality. Much like with other vehicles that run on natural gas, the performance on the CNG scooter too has dropped by nearly 5% but does not make a world of a difference. The crisp power delivery you get from a petrol-powered Activa is missing and the throttle response is slower than the petrol version too. Lag from the motor is evident and the engine needs to be revved up to get it going but you manage to hit speeds up to 60 km with ease. The other factor affecting performance is the additional weight of the scooter, which is about an extra 14 kilos. The scooter loses its nimbleness, especially with all the weight being front biased, while you also miss the light handlebar, especially in dense traffic. The weight disappears once you're in motion. With half a tank of CNG gas, you manage to get a fuel efficiency figure of nearly 50 kilometers to a litre, and that is mostly on par or better than most petrol-powered scooters. A CNG powered scooter will give you a running cost of 60 paise per kilometer, whereas a petrol powered one will cost you 1.2 paise per kilometer. The difference is nearly half when you have the CNG kit in place. And that begs to the question should I buy one? Well, the answer is yes, but only if your running is exceptionally high. We are talking about 60 to 70 kilometers every day, and that does make sense and you get your return on investment. But if your scooter running is mostly in the city, and that includes shorter distances, then the petrol powered versions do work well for you. At 17,000 rupees in Mumbai, including taxes and registration, the pricing CNG kit is a tad steep, but redeemable if the running is high. Of course, this is in addition to the scooter's asking price. That's why corporate buyers looking for delivery vehicles or small business owners with a higher kilometre run every day are ideal customers for such kits. Interestingly, Lovato is working on reducing the kit's cost and that just might make it a highly lucrative option for the private scooter owner as well.